Welcome back to the program. And for more on our top stories and others, please visit our website. It's channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. You can also watch us on the go. That's on your mobile device. Log on to m.channelstv.com or download the Channels TV app for the Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. Having the Channels TV and Channels 24 apps will give you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature so you too can be part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and then follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Barely six weeks to the National Convention of the People's Democratic Party, the Senate caucus of the party has met in Abuja to screen aspirants for the party's chairmanship position. Senate Minority Leader Senator Godswill Apabio, who led the caucus, say the move is to ensure that the PDP gets the convention right and avoid a repeat of past mistakes. It's barely seven weeks to the proposed National Convention of the People's Democratic Party. Pressure and anxiety continues to mount as leaders of the PDP meet with aspirants to the chairmanship position of the party, with the intentions of preventing the PDP from another round of leadership crisis. The Senate Minority Leader, Senator Gatswila Pabio, leads a delegation of the PDP Senate caucus in a closed-door meeting to screen aspirants to the party's chairmanship position. A few moments after the secret meeting, some of the aspirants addressed journalists about the outcome of their meeting with the lawmakers. We must win back the hearts and minds of Nigerians. So that is the effort being displayed here today, and um, I, I, I am hopeful that it shall be well with our party. We are all concerned about the past. We are worried about the future. That is why we have to make sure that we do things right now, to make sure that the future is the future of our vision, and that the mistakes of the past are not repeated. It's not about consensus. I mean, that's not what is here. Basically what we have is a situation where the, the senators want to have a feel of the aspirants so that they are in a better position to, um, to take their own decisions. Some other aspirants are of the opinion that there is need to reduce the number of contestants. The Southwest currently has about six, eight uh, very powerful, very strong aspirants. Uh, and I think that uh, we, they could do a mini... Uh, a mini congress uh, uh, by the same delegates from that area to prompt down the number of persons. There are eight chairmanship aspirants, six attending the meeting, but not all of them are willing to speak on the outcome of the meeting. We have a meeting tomorrow. You can come there tomorrow. That's all. That's all. That's all. The convener of the meeting also highlights the importance of meeting with the aspirants. Conflict in part and parcel of uh, governance. You don't expect everybody to agree. If everybody should agree, that would be rubber stamping. And uh, for me, I believe that the challenges that political parties face, you know, prepare them to uh, provide good governance. So I uh, will take cognizance of the Portugal experience, and then uh, we'll also take cognizance of past uh, experiences of the PDP. A failed convention of the PDP last year in Port Harcourt plunged the party into a protracted legal battle. Political watchers are hoping that the PDP will learn from the experience and get it right this time. Anambra State Governor Willie Obiano has reaffirmed his administration's commitment to continuously improve the education sector. The governor who was speaking at the commissioning of the school block in Queen's Convent, Orca, swears he will not relent in providing the necessary tools and infrastructure to ensure that every child gets the best of education, irrespective of status, location or creed. Students of the Queen's Convent School in Orca and Ambra State all line up at the newly built edifice waiting for the governor's arrival. Governor Willie Obiano arrives in company of the National Caretaker Secretary of the People's Democratic Party for the commissioning of the new school building. This is one of the reasons why Afghan government handed over schools to the mission. Because uh, they, 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 they train 
people of morals and uh, uh, how to be good citizens in the future. So it is a special school and uh, I will particularly encourage more of these schools all over the state. And then the commissioning of a multi-million naira modern two-story building at the King's Ambassador Seminary in Atani, Obari local government area, by the Chief of Staff. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The church is not just idle. The church is doing something serious in order to make sure that the, the government, the uh, vision about the education, it's not just lying on the ground. So we appreciate you. We welcome His Excellency. The Anambra State Government says it will continue to invest more on education and it is calling on individuals and corporate bodies to assist in moving the sector forward. Governor Tanko Almakura of Nasarawa State is seeking a partnership from the international community to improve some key sectors of the state's economy. The state government solicited help from the American ambassador to Nigeria, Stuart Symington, when he visited him in Lafia, the Nasarawa state capital. I would like to, the, 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 His Excellency, to, to put us in mind when it comes to implementing or piloting some of these initiatives. Nasarawa state is just a closed door state to the federal capital and we will be easily accessible for the implementation or piloting of any kind of initiative that you think is necessary to be fast tracked by the American Embassy. I would appeal to the American Ambassador to see what they can do to also collaborate with us so that we can expand the scope of skill acquisition and employment opportunity for young chaps that... We've talked about that most important thing in life which is skills training to learn uh, not only how to think but how to do and we've talked about the challenges that uh, that are faced as you think about building infrastructure so what I've done today is to come to learn and what I get to do now is to go and to think and to look for ways that we can do exactly what you ask and that is partner Be partner and uh, and work together because I think you all that uh, one one great truth of this country is that um, that she needs um, people who can partner with Nigeria to move forward. Still to come on the program, the Nigerian Medical Association raises an alarm over the declining coverage of immunization in the country. Stay with us. <laughs>